The first place we visited was the capital, surely one of the most thrilling sights in the world. It's the focal point of the city, and right over there where you see the stands, the inauguration itself will take place. And the parade tomorrow begins right here, and so, so will we. Although it was very cold, I had the top down on my long, low Lincoln convertible, so I was riding just as the people will be riding in the parade tomorrow. I drove away from the Capitol toward the stately Supreme Court building. And right away, my lovely Lincoln attracted as much attention as if it were leading a parade. I followed the stands along Pennsylvania Avenue, past the National Gallery of Art, where you can see some of the world's finest art treasures, and then by the Washington Monument. And I thought how perfectly my new Lincoln fitted into the beautiful setting of this lovely city. It started to snow, so I put the top up and drove to where the parade will end, at the White House, where the president, the vice president, and their guests will review the parade. As I started back, I was reminded of something I'd noticed, that from the number of Lincolns in Washington, more and more of the most important people were driving the finest car, Lincoln. For example, later that evening when I arrived at the Carlton Hotel for dinner with friends, the doorman complimented me on my lovely Lincoln. Later, he told me that with all the social activities in Washington these days, he had noticed so many more people were arriving in New Lincoln. And as I was standing with my friends at the entrance of the hotel, I saw evidence of this myself. I was convinced, as I am wherever I go, that Lincoln stands out the finest in the fine car field.